Our mission, our goal, is to make day one ready sailors that are beneficial to the submarine fleet. Here at the Submarine School, we have multiple trainers where we teach submarine sailors. Specifically, we teach uh, pressurized submarine escape training, we teach the firefighting training, and we teach damage control wet trainer, all of which are considered high risk training. So we are the only submarine escape training facility in the United States. Uh, we in the submarine community focus heavily on quality assurance and maintenance practices. So ideally, the sailor should never need this training. Um, that being said, we don't simulate uh, in this environment. That's why it is high risk training, is we are actually subjecting the student or the sailor to a pressurized environment. And they are making an actual escape from 40 feet with all the physics and everything that nature can, can throw at them. Um, so they are actually completing a real escape in this environment. So we have to give them this stressful event to create a muscle memory where they don't think anything through, they just react. We're in a container hundreds of feet below the surface and every single one of us has to answer that call when a fire or flooding occurs on board our vessels. So human nature, when you see a large fire, you wanna get out of there immediately. But for our students, we have to train them from the beginning that even though you see this fire, you all, have to, you all are gonna be one crew, one screw, which means if one fire happens on board, this fire can affect everybody on board. The fires that we give these students is for them to get through that initial shock and then power through that initial shock to put out said fires. Our most common fires are Class Charlie fires, which are electrical fires, due to the fact that we have electrical cables running from the bow to the stern of the boat. High Risk Trainers give the students a chance to actually like see what the things they're learning about in school mean. So they might hear about flooding, but going to a DC wet trainer allows them to see what flooding means. So that definition of flooding is that fear of water intake onto a ship. It gives them the chance to see that in life so that when they see it for real, they're not panicking. Here at the DC Wet Trainer, our training is two part. Uh, the first portion is the in-classroom portion in which we teach the fundamentals, uh, the different types of equipment, how to utilize them in a safe environment where there's not a flooding casualty going on. The second portion, they apply a technical application in which they are required to patch and repair piping utilizing our different tools available in these casualties. The purpose of our DC Wet Chamber and putting them through this scenario while they're here in school is so that when they are confronted with this in the fleet, this isn't the first time they see these casualties. Um, they're not scared of what uh, is going to happen. Um, they are ready for it. In times of crisis, you refer back to your lowest form of training. So if your lowest form of training is here at subschool or we train for perfection, you will always be ready. I hope they leave with a sense of pride for submarines, but also a sense of like readiness to go out to the fleet and do their job. They're excited and ready to go to a submarine and they want to help their crew out. <laughs>